Look at this flow. This is very accurate. Hello everybody, in today's video we are going to be watching and reacting to Midsommar. This is one of the most requested videos for this new series where I assess whether the visual representation of psychedelics in popular mainstream movies is accurate. Now the consensus seems to be that you guys say this is the most accurate replication of psilocybin mushrooms that you have ever seen. Let's uh, dive right into this. Let's see if the all-knowing Adam agrees. And hopefully you can pick up on that sarcasm. The psychedelic visuals are a very individualized experience. Whether I agree or not, it doesn't take anything away from the fact that people say these visuals are very, very accurate. Um, unlike the last video I reviewed, which was Enter the Void, which uh, resembled more what I would imagine an insect's throat looks like than an endimethyl trip to mean. Anyway, without more fluffing around, let's dive headfirst into this video. The following video has been created strictly for harm reduction. It's made to keep you guys safe by dissecting this absolutely terrifying mushroom trip. Well, you know, a, a movie showcasing a terrifying mushroom trip. I'm hoping to highlight what they did wrong, how they could have done things better, and for your own sake, how not to be stupid like them. Hope you guys all enjoy. And listen, if you're feeling uneasy, you don't have to take them at all. No, you know? no, no, no. I just, I want to feel settled first. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. No, no, you go ahead, no, please. No, I'll wait. Well, let's come up together. The fact that she is noticeably nervous going in is evidence of the type of trip they're going to portray. Guys, I'm going to wait for Danny, so you just go ahead. Dude, we can't take him at different times. They'll be totally separate trips. Where have I seen this kid before? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Babe, I'm, babe, I'm, it's, no. I'm ready. No, don't it's okay. Rushed. I don't, I don't. It's fine. I'm ready. She's not ready. It's not fine. Are you sure? Yes, Mark. Thank you. I have a sinking suspicion that Mark is going to have a difficult time handling it. Obviously, this is just a movie, but usually when people are that anxious to get going, it's a sign that they have further anxieties and they're probably putting on a front and they're actually petrified inside. They made mushroom tea, mm -hmm. uh, if you prefer against the taste. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll okay. try that, thank you. If they did lemon tech tea, meaning making the solution more acidic, it pulls more of the active alkaloids, being psilocybin, baocystin, norbaocystin, uh, out of the mushroom. And because it's in a liquid and your stomach can absorb liquid much faster, it's going to come on much faster and harder. So her accepting the tea to avoid the taste is a terrible effing idea if she's nervous. You want that slow onset. You don't want to be thrust headfirst into hyperspace. You want to like easy stroll, gather your bearings, and you know, you want to come into it gradually if you're nervous. I mean, that's my take. Maybe it's good to be thrust in because then you don't have time to fight it, but that can often result in some psychosis. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Thanks, dude. Okay, here we go then. Think happy thoughts. Are you okay. sure about this? Think happy thoughts. Happy, happy, happy thoughts. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. I'm excited. It's cool. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Are you sure about okay. this? Okay. I think it's going to be fun. Ready? Yeah, go. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. That can't be right. The sky is blue. <laughs> it's fine. It's Sweden. That's not fine. Why is it like that? It's okay, Mark. It's the midnight sun. That feels wrong. I don't like that. I'm not okay. Oh, fuck. It's a new person. What? I don't want new people right now. This is very accurate. <laughs> Everyone's like a threat. When new people enter the space, you go back to like hunter-gatherer, like back in tribal days, and a new person entering the tribe could be death. Everything becomes like a matter of survival in that state. Uh, so when he's like, I don't want new people right now, He's not probably nervous that he's going to come off weird. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's more so a fear of your actual safety. No, new people are good, Mark. That dude's insane. I'm just going to lay down, okay? Yeah, do that. Everybody else lay down. <laughs> Guys, do it. It feels so nice. 
So anxious guy is trying to control everybody's experience because he feels out of control with his own experience. So he's basically grasping for straws here and he just wants some resemblance of control going on in his current experience and it's not happening for him, which is going to heighten his anxiety. Josh, can you lie down, please? Exactly. Can you feel that? The energy coming up from the earth? Yo, this guy knows what's what it's all about, man. Listen to him. Follow that guy. Unless he's one of the bad guys. You see how calm she looks? She might appear calm, but inside, she is freaking the f*** out. It's one of those... Oh, I look like I'm just like a little uncomfortable, but really, if you could like have a microscopic view into her thoughts, she'd be like, ah! yeah, that's her. Oh, she's becoming one with nature. Good rep. Doesn't actually look like that ever. I mean, not, not for me. I've, n I've never had nature try to like overgrow on me but that's a good visual representation of what it feels like when you feel like you're merging into the ground the trees too they're breathing yep the trees breathe Ooh. nature just knows it's Look at this flow. This is very accurate. When you look at wood, it has this like flowing like a river motion to it. This tree looks good. Nature just knows instinctually how to stay in harmony. All that bark be flowing, baby. You guys are like my family. Clearly I cut when it's about to trigger her big time, but he's having that MDMA-like experience. You see, psilocybin mushrooms are largely active at the 5-HT2A receptor, which is a serotonin receptor site, which is what things like MDMA cause a surplus of that cause that super lovey bonding feeling. But other serotoninic compounds, serotonergic compounds, such as psilocybin mushrooms, can at times, the trip it goes in waves and, and you experience different things at different points of the experience. Some people feel this very loving warmth who have even said it feels like they're on M but she's about to lose her marbles baby you're like my real actual family oh shit see that that's called a trigger word for me it's sirens but it's like these triggers are trauma triggers you know post-traumatic stress triggers and they launch you straight into absolute panic this is very accurate of what can happen which is why if you have a very traumatic past, you would ideally want to explore these compounds with a therapist or for sure someone you love and trust completely because the outcome is unknown. You don't know how it's going to affect you. And you can feel like you're this veteran who's had trip after trip under your belt of nothing but smooth sailing. And then it can just be someone says something, they trigger you at the right time when you're feeling the right or the wrong way. And then you're off into pure psychosis. And next thing you know, you could be strapped to a freaking gurney in the mental hospital. This is some real scary shit that should not be taken lightly. Danny. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna... Go for a walk? I can walk too. Stay the f back, Mark. Leave her alone. No, 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 no. Don't think that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt these people are actually laughing at her. This is a very common experience too. It's like you enter this mass, mass paranoid state and it's overwhelming. Especially she's already entering panic and now she feels like everyone's laughing at her. This is going to highly exacerbate her emotional state to the point where she's going to probably enter, yeah, some psychosis. Reversible psychosis. <laughs> Stop it, you're fine. Overall quite accurate, by the way. How are you? They were laughing at me. No, 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 I'm sure they weren't. They've been laughing. You wanna call me my friends? Terrible idea, Mr. Creepy Smile. Don't have her meet new people when she's losing her marbles. What the hell? Ugh. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
she needs it to end right now. This is why she would need a trip killer. A benzodiazepine or antipsychotic medication would be fantastic at this point to calm her nerves down. Stop it. Fuck. You catch those little, little, little wavy motion? that could have been motion tracked to that little shed to have it appear like it was less following the camera movement. That would have made it better. It wasn't that accurate, but um, yeah, you, you see some wavy stuff. That's just normal shit. Everyone knows about the waves. You're okay. Oh, this is good. Oh no. Oh no, the mirrors are my favorite, but most people can't handle that. <laughs> That nightmaric music was very accurate. It feels like you're entering or you're in a living nightmare and you don't really hear music per se, but it's that that feeling of impending doom and you're on your way out. Hey. How long was I asleep? All right, trip is over. Uh, I'm not going to tackle either psychedelic scenes. I think that was enough for now. I might in another video. Uh, overall, my consensus is that was highly accurate. That was a good representation of uh, what not to do as well. I mean, she definitely shouldn't have given in to peer pressure. And I feel like some kind of an anti-drug ad at the moment. But that's not a good set and setting. She clearly wasn't ready for it. She's clearly in a negative emotional state to start with. Her and her partner, uh, I think we're about to break up at the beginning of the movie. And it's like everything in that situation screams, don't do it. But a lot of people, because they feel that social pressure, because we are social creatures, will give in to it. And what's going to result is an absolutely potentially traumatizing experience that can cause you long lasting harm for years to come. I get messages all the time from people saying, I had you know this terrible acid or mushroom or you name it type of psychedelic trip and it's been months and I'm experiencing depersonalization now. I have maybe HPPD, hallucination persisting perception disorder and I don't feel like myself and I just wanna know when is this gonna wear off? Like this is some real shit. Psychedelics can have profound benefits, especially from things like addiction. And they they do have a huge range of benefits, but when taken in the wrong context, i.e. the wrong set and setting, which is what we call that set being how you feel inside and setting being, you know, your immediate situation, like who you're with, where you are, they can be extremely dangerous. You have to exercise a great deal of caution and you have to come into this with a large amount of awareness if you want to use them as the tools that I feel like they are ultimately destined to be used as for humans at least. They are a great ally for helping us get through or get a new perspective on life even. Not, not just from like an addiction medical perspective. They can help people to further understand their own minds. There's untold benefits of these compounds that uh, someone who hasn't experienced them may not necessarily be aware of just because they're in an ignorant stage and because society misrepresents them. However, that was not a misrepresentation. That was a fantastic example of a bad trip. And the slight visuals that they did show were pretty good, especially that um, the tree flowing motion was very good. These are very basic visuals. Like I could even recreate something close to that. No, not exactly like that because I'm not a visual effects artist, but those aren't difficult visuals to even recreate. Um, so that wasn't anything mind blowing. The only thing that was a little off kilter was the grass growing out of her hand but I feel like like I said they were trying to visually show the becoming one uh, experience and I mean it's a good way to show it the visual things are more so distortions like the wood flowing and things like breathing breathing it's like everything looks like it's kind of alive and it's in this constant warping motion stuff like that happens um, actual Delusion-like hallucinatory states are caused by the class of compounds called deliriants. Most notably, well, the most well-known one being, um, what's it called? Datura, angel trumpet. And that is what causes people to actually see and have full-on conversations like they're in a dream state with people that don't actually exist. 
And, and people often misrepresent psychedelics as having delirium properties. So there's a lot of confusion due to the media portraying psychedelics as, you know, hallucinating stuff where people don't understand that that's a totally different class of compounds altogether. Anyway, to wrap all this together, I would say that was a really good showing of uh, what psilocybin can be like in, in a bad set and setting. And people make the mistake of tripping when they're in a low state. Maybe they've only had experience with alcohol or things like MDMA, which have a positive push and psychedelics don't have a positive push unless you're already in a positive state or unless you can see the glasses half full. And maybe you're in a negative state, but the psychedelic allots you the ability, the capabilities to now view your life from a new perspective and you develop a positive view thanks to that, but often it requires trudging through the mud and making it to that other side. Almost like you're in quicksand and you gotta recognize that, oh, you can slowly grab this tree and if you do so carefully, wiggle your way out. But it's not just handed to you, you know, it's not force fed to you in a silver spoon like MDMA is like, oh, here's the feel good stuff. You're gonna fucking take it and feel good. And you're like, whoa, but psychedelics aren't gonna do that. And I think this was a good example of just that. Like she probably thought, oh, I'm gonna take it and maybe it'll help me feel better. At least I'm not gonna feel like I'm left out. But once things got scary, she would have, no question about it, preferred to have had that social outcast vibe, being rejected from the tribe feeling, than feeling like she's going crazy for life. So just remember that next time you're put in that social peer pressure situation, if you're not vibing with it and you don't really know the people and you're already in a bad state with your partner, don't take the drugs. You can always do them another time and you can always take more, but you can never take less. So remember that if you're going to force yourself to do it, start with a mini, minuscule, tiny, tiny dose, and then maybe up it if you're feeling better, but then don't push it because that's also when people run into trouble. They're like, oh, I can handle it. Two doses will be twice as intense when it raises the intensity exponentially. Anyway, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below what video I should review next and let me know if you're enjoying this series yeah this is a lot of fun huge shout out to our patrons it's thanks to your support on patreon that i can keep these videos going link below to patreon love all you guys and uh just leave some comments for the algorithm so these videos don't get uh you know blocked like some of them do and we can we can get me to the state that i should be at so leave me leave me some comments throw me some likes show your love and i will see all you mother boobers in the next video